hey welcome guys and now we're going to learn how to restrict access in some scenario where you keep your excel workbook on a, a shared network or in cloud where lots of people going to access that you can control their access level by assigning them role so how you can do that you have to go in a file in info and protect workbook and here is a restrict access so once you enable it you can control uh, their ability to add it copy and print so right now it is an unrestricted access is assigned for this workbook by default so I'm gonna click on a restricted access I'm gonna click on this checkbook and here we will see there are option to provide read and change access so once I check this option I can click on these buttons here read and change and this will allow you know you to assign role so if I click on the change here's a list of name in my organization whom I can assign the permission to uh, you know make editing or giving them permission to print so we can select anyone from this you know just select that option and click on read access i want to give read access to marisa and change access to tammy and click okay and here you would see the people are assigned to their desired role and if we click on a more option here you would see that what kind of roles are assigned so you can remove or add it you can make you know changes in their accesses you can allow user to print the content or you know uh, giving any other right you can also assign them uh, uh, you know this workbook assign a date that can expire on a particular date so we can use the you know this uh, set of permission in this option so I'm clicking OK going back and you would see here this is a restricted access so I I am able to you know make edit on that because I am administrator for this uh, workbook so I can make changes but if anyone else open in a cloud or in a shared network they would not be able to do that because we not assigned them access to do this so I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe it and in next video we will learn how to mark a digital signature in next video we will learn how to restrict access in Excel 2013